Continuing our discussion on strings, which once again are nothing more than uh, vectors of characters, um, let's look at um, some more operations just to introduce you uh, and to set up the next lecture. Um, so if you had string A or character A, equal to character A. That's a logical expression and that's going to return true. If I created some variable equals A um, and then I said does that variable equal A and we have actually seen this before that's going to give me true as well as opposed to if I said well instead does that variable equal B that of course is going to be false. Okay. Um, likewise I could say well um, does A equal capital A? Well we know that there's case sensitivity here so A is not equal to capital A so that would be false. Um, you know we could ask the question uh, does A B equal string AB. Well, that once again would be true. Likewise, ABC is not equal to AB capital C. And that would be false. Okay? Uh, if we come over here and look at this same thing on the number side, uh, we can say, well, does 5 equal 5? That would be true. I could assign some variable equal to 5 and then say, does that variable equal 5? And that would be true as well. Uh, then I could ask, well, does that variable equal 6? And that would be false. So this would be true up here. This would be true here. And this would be false here. Um, then I could come in and say, well, uh, well of, of course, uh, 5, you know, uh, does 5 equal 6? Once again, that's false. Uh, so a lot of the same things on both sides. Then I could say, does vector 5, 6 equal vector 5, 6, not 56, but 5, 6. And that would give me true. Uh, and then I could ask, well, does vector 5, 6, 7 equal vector 5, 6, 9? And that would give me false. Okay. Uh, oops, I made a mistake over here. That's not, this is false. A, B, C, equals AB capital C is false. Uh, so I'm trying to draw these parallels here between the uh, strings um, and, um, and numbers over here on the right. Well then you ask the big question what about uh, greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to. Can you use those as strings? Could I say is a less than um, or greater than capital A? And that is a valid question, but before I ask that question, that's going to lead me into another area. But before I go into that area, I want to um, extend this example into the operations that we already know. More specifically, um, you can use strings um, in the ifs and in the fours and the whiles that we've done and the switch statements. So let's look at that before we go forward uh, with ideas of greater than, equal to, excuse me, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, or equal to. So uh, we can use this in an if statement. We've seen this already. If I define variable var equals character A, uh, then I can say if var equals A, um, then I'm going to say, I don't know, display something. 
else display nothing okay and then that's simply just doing a test does the var equal a and in this case it does and so for therefore we'll display something uh, likewise we can do this in a switch statement we could say var equals b and then we could say switch on var and we've done this before but I'm just pointing it out that we were using strings and variables uh, we're using strings um, in, in terms of the characters whatever um, so case b display something otherwise display nothing and then we end that okay now this would also work uh, in terms of string so if I said uh, var equals apple and I do my test for apple here uh, it would work perfectly uh, fine here and then if I said uh, if B was equal to I don't know, bat and I did my test on bat that would work perfectly fine um, now there are some caveats here so uh, let's be careful as we move forward but in general this is the the general idea that this will work uh, and we'll come back to those caveats later on in our discussion on strings um, also uh, this works in the for loop. Now this is, is very important when you talk about the for loop. Let's say if uh, let's say if I had some variable uh, defined, well let's not even define a variable, let's just do it this way. If I said 4x equals the vector 5, 6, 7, and 8, and I did some loop and I said display x and then end well, what would happen? Well, uh, in the command window, you would get 5, 6, 7, and 8 because you'd be displaying each time through the loop, right? Well, it is no different than if I said 4x equals T E C H and then do display X and then end. I'm going to get in the command window. T E C H. Now, it may not show the quotes, but I'm just doing that here to show that these are characters. So, you're actually going to get that. This is a vector. And what does a for loop do? Every time through the loop, it, it goes down to the next item in the vector. The initial item is the cat, is the first item in the vector, and then it goes down the loop. You could also do this using the indexing method. Uh, let's just say if the vector equal T E C H and I said and this is a different example um, with the vector equal T E C H I would say 4 X equals 1 to the length of that and then I would say display vec indexed at X okay now the first time through x equals, well first of all the length of vec equals four because there are four characters here indexed one two three and four uh, the first time through x equals one so I index vec at one and display that and so I'm going to get t uh, the next time through um, x now moves to two because this vector here is the vector one two three four right so next time through x equals two I get vec index at 2, which is the E. Next time to it's, through it's 3, um, I get the C. And next time through it's 4, and I get the H. So um, these two blocks of code will do the same thing. Okay, uh, So it works there. Also works if I were to do a while statement. Uh, I'll set my while statement up uh, with vec equals tech, T-E-C-H, and then I would do x equals 1, initialize uh, while x is less than or equal to the length of 
neck, which is my inspection stage, and then I would say uh, display vec of x, and then I would have to do my incrementer here, x equals x plus 1, and then I end. And this will do the same thing as the for loops above it. Um, x gets initialized to 1, x is, while x is less than or equal to the length of vector, which the length of vector is 4, and each time through um, I will index at increasingly incrementing values, which are incremented down here, and so I would get vec indexed at 1, vec indexed at 2, vec indexed at 3, vec indexed at 4, and so you will get uh, the same output as you get with the other ones. So, um, wanted to show you this to show you that uh, you can use strings in your for loops, your while loops, in your ifs and your switches just like you use them, um, just like you use numbers. Um, and we'll start off with that notion and then we'll whittle it down and fine tune it as we go forward. Um, but next up, I'd like to talk about, I'd like to go back to the topic, is what do you do with the greater thans, greater than equal to's, less than, less than equal to's when you're comparing strings. And that's going to take us into um, a little bit different uh, space, but we'll check that out in the next video.